actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, Hitman Modern Warfare 2 Ending. So we come to the end of Modern Warfare Part 2. Uh, the contract ID is up on the screen now, and it's set in Marrakesh, and as usual, has been supplied by a contract agency. So on to our briefing. China was a success, Hitman 47. I've managed to track down General Zaydan. He's in Marrakesh, Morocco, ordered by Novikov to protect Novikov's banker, Klaus Strangberg. I leaked Novikov's, Zaydan's and Strandberg's actions to all news stations in the world so people can know what's truly going on. We're going to give Novikov and Zaydan what they asked for. Good luck, Agent. Diana out. So for today's challenge we have our two main targets here, although Zaydan has to be eliminated whilst disguised as a prisoner. So for today's challenge, we will be starting as the elite soldiers at the school, and we're going to be bringing with us a tranquilizer gun and a breaching charge. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to make our way straight through the hole in the wall opposite us, and down the stairs and around to our left, pulling out our tranquilizer gun as we go. And we're just going to wait right here by these crates. And we're just going to wait for everybody in the next room to be in the correct position. So the guard in the hallway will be where he is. And the enforcer, who is our primary target here, will move to the table in the center of the room. The other guard will move to the window. And at that point, we can get behind the officer, shoot him with our tranquilizer gun take his outfit and nonchalantly walk away. So now we can make our way straight into the prisoner's room. We're going to uh, dismiss the guard on duty and the guard who happens to be here who controls the corridor as well. So with both of them gone, that leaves us alone with the prisoner. Unfortunately, if you look on the mini map, you can see that Razor Zidane is just in the stairwell, making his way to this room now. So we're just going to quickly hide in the closet provided and let them have their little conversation. And when Razor Zidane leaves the area, as he is doing now, rather slowly, we can then jump out of our hidey hole, render the prisoner unconscious, there we go, I don't know what tapes he's talking about, uh, hopefully they're not blue flicks, or skin flicks, or whatever they're called these days. And uh, we're just going to deposit him in the closet here, and take his outfit. Were they the uh, missing UFO tapes? No? Right, okay, so, right, we'll sit in the chair here, and that will attract the attention of Razor Zidane. He will come back and he will begin a conversation with us and at any point now we can literally just headbutt him to death, kind of. So the prompt will arrive any second now and when it does we are going to surprise Razor Dan with a blow to the head and a quick twist of the neck. So that's one target taken care of. We're just going to hide him with the prisoner as they used to be besties. Uh, they'll get along fine in there. We're going to put back on the officer's outfit and we are going to vacate the school premises, uh, resisting the urge to dismiss this guard as we run past him. And we are now going to head directly for the consulate building the reason we've put this outfit back on is this one will get us the furthest in the consulate. Uh, there'll be less enforcers if we wear the elite soldier outfit. 
and even less enforcers if we try and go in in our suit. So we're just going to pop over the wall once we get to the consulate. We're going to enter in through the right hand side to avoid the camera above the left. We're going to go into the corner office here and grab the consulate car keys. That's our exit taken care of. We're now going to pass straight through the security office. Again, not worrying about enforcers as there are none. And in here we will find a screwdriver. And with that screwdriver we can now make our way up to the first floor. And up here we will be trespassing. And we will require a change of outfit. So we're going to head straight into the janitor's office or room on our left here. Activate the uh, vacuum cleaner. That's going to attract the attention of the guard out in the gallery balcony or the expo balcony. And when he comes in to investigate, we can pounce on him, render him unconscious and deposit him in the crate provided before taking his outfit. And then we can proceed to eliminate Klaus Stramberg. So all of that taken care of, we're going to make our way out onto the balcony, mess with the floodlight here up on the balcony, and then make our way to the control booth at the far end. And in here, all we have to do, there is Klaus, he's making his way over here now, is to turn on the light switch. Uh, you can wait until Klaus is in position if you so wish, or you can do as I did and turn it on now, and just wait. So there is the guard, he's going to turn around and leave momentarily. Roughly at the same time, Klaus will make his way in and he will walk halfway down that balcony before leaning on the metal handrail. And it has to be metal or this won't work. So there he goes now, let's have a nice close look and ooh, yes, I would say that was pretty fatal. He went down like a tree as well. So that's both of our targets taken care of. All that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and the nearest safe exit if we put back on our um, military disguise, the officer outfit, not the janitor, we don't need that. The nearest uh, uh, available exit will be down in the consulate car park just so long as we can open the doors here, hence the breaching charge. So we're just going to place that on the door, blow the doors open and run straight to our awaiting vehicle. There used to be an enforcer down here, another officer, but he's no longer an enforcer so we can now just run straight to the car and exit Marrakesh. So we have confirmation both of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating and we have taken on Modern Warfare Part 2. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.